great example of how automation has become extremely simple and how Porter CNC Automation have provided solutions to the company here, which is FB Chain, Letchworth Garden City. Peter, first of all, a little bit of background about the company and what you actually do. Okay, so we're an industrial chain manufacturer and we specialise in leaf chain that's fitted to telehandlers and forklift trucks, lifts and any, any other lifting equipment really. And uh, we supply the chain delivered to the customer as a package solution ready them, for them to fit to the machine. Okay. Now the company's been going since sort of the 1900s, I understand, yep. but this impressive facility here is relatively new. Yes, so um, we've been making chain in Sweden since 1905, but we opened in the UK in 1985, but we actually moved into this brand new building in December 2016, so we're about two years in this building now. Okay. And part of it is about improving your processes and automation, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Yeah. We've been growing the business really strongly over the last few years and uh, finding the right skilled people has been a, been a big problem. Yeah. So keeping the machines running is it, difficult and so if you can take away the, the simple basic thing of loading and unloading them and then use the skill in other areas. Okay, and that's where Halter CNC yeah. Automation came in? Yes, definitely. It, we were looking for a really simple solution that was quickly changeable from job to job and you didn't need masses of robot experience to load the uh, to get the machines working. Okay. Now, no disrespect to your product because you've got the chains and you're adding essentially a component like this. They come in slightly different guises, though. Yeah. I, really, we probably make a hundred parts, uh, and they're all the same. Really, they're all different. We've got different threads and different lengths and different slots, but really, they are the same uh, same yeah. part, just from 12 mil threads to M56 threads. But okay. really, it's all the same. And I think, is that part of the beauty and the simplicity of the Halter CNC robot? Yes, yeah, it, it's really simple. We're picking it up, a diameter, we're putting it into a chuck, it, and it, there is. It, we're using the, it is just really easy. So I understand you took a bit of a leap in the dark because Halter, as I understand, has been going about five years. You bought your first robot cell about four and a half years ago? Yeah, I think it was May 2015, and we were the first people in the UK to have one, I, I believe. And. Uh, to be honest, we found it on the internet, we thought it did everything, we made a quick trip over to see them in, uh, in Europe and, and that was it. Yeah. And now you've got three of them? Now we've got three, yeah. Okay. yeah. So what are, what are your jobs that you're turning and milling on the, with yeah. these arms? Yeah, um, so we're milling uh, and turning on them. We've got two machines that are milling and one machine that's uh, turning. Uh, the turning machine, we really everything's above 50 mil diameter, so we're, we're turning up to um, 50, up to about 80 mil on it. Um, I guess 15 to 20 kilos is the biggest billet we're putting in, at about 300 mil long. Okay, now when you, t when you took this robot, the first robot cell on, yeah. how easy was it to install you? I mean, I'm thinking I need some you know, skills in programming, for example. It, it was really easy. The halter guys arrived on Monday, and by Thursday afternoon, it was making parts. It was that simple. And they stayed around on Friday just to make sure everything was all right, and then, and then disappeared off. So it was really, uh, really, really simple. A day on the bosses there. Yeah, why not? It, it, it was, I, was, I was amazed. Yeah. And integration, because I understand they fit on pretty much any machine tool. Yep, yeah, they handled that. that. All that was handled as well, really. It was, it was a complete, we bought a turnkey solution for them. They yeah. fitted it on the machine and ran it. If you say turnkey solution, uh, it will pretty much fit on any machine yeah. and any solution. Yeah, as, as I understand it, we only run Doosan machines here. Right. We've had a little bit, we run, we've got uh, Hyde and Hyman fan controls on the machines. So we've, we've fitted them to two different types of controls. Okay, so you're looking to, like, like I said, automation made easy, improve efficiencies yeah. within the company. What, is these, what are these robot cells actually done then? So we're now running uh, from 7 until 11.30 at night. 7 a.m. just to clarify. 7 a.m., yeah. 7 a.m. in the morning until 11.30 at night. But we only have one man shift. So at 3.30, all the staff go home. And the, and the loading systems just carry on working up until 11.30. So we effectively get two shifts a day, but only one lot of, uh, one lot of staff. Okay. And loading the, loading the actual um, systems themselves, very easy? Yep, you could be doing it, Colin, tomorrow, today, in five minutes training. You know, oh, must be simple then. Yeah, it's really easy. Um, it's, it's a standard. That's what really sold us on the solution, that it was such an easy thing to set up and change over. Okay. What about programming it then? Yeah, it's, again, it's just all known things. You just tell it the diameter and the length, and, uh, and it, it works everything else out for you. Okay, so again, sounds really easy. Yep. Next question though, there's no cages here. What about health, you know, health and safety about having a meltdown? Yeah, no, 
uh, they're fully compliant machines. They've actually got an electronic uh, field around them and as soon as you walk in, it slows the machine down and as soon as you take another step, the machine stops dead and you have to reset it from the panel. So it's really, uh, it's really, really safe. So I also understand the beauty of this system as well is you can move them from machine to machine. Yeah, we did look at that early on, but it was never really our intention to move them. And actually, they're so productive, we just bought another one. So it was sort of, you know, to, to, to move it, we just thought, well, this is, this is not going to work. So we just bought a second one and then a third one. So yes, you, yes, you can move them, but we don't. Okay. Now, in terms of just sort of finishing up then, in terms of productivity, how, how much, you say you're running seven till 11, in terms yeah. of productivity, sort of figures yeah. and things like that, without giving too much away, obviously. No, that's fine. We, um, we generally, uh, this machine behind us is running about 16 hours. So it's machining 16 hours of an 18 hour, 18 hour day. So I guess that's all 80, 80 percent efficient over the last 30, 30 weeks. So next step, another Halter CNC machine? Yeah, definitely. I definitely think it's on the cards, but more automation. And we've got automa the automation we've done is created some bottlenecks in other bits of the business. So we've now got to look to automate other things and handle some other stuff. So basically, Halter CNC automation has been too successful. It has. When we first started, if we if we ran for four or five hours extra every night, we'd all get excited. Now, actually, we're working on a project with Halter to actually get the machines running another eight hour shift. The idea is, can we fill a third shift with automation? So, so pretty much 24, 24 hour running. Yeah, that's, the, that's now the goal. Fantastic. Peter, great endorsement of Halter CNC Automation. Thank you. Thank you.